Say what's cracking, YouTube? You already know how this gonna go. It's your boy, 16 to life. You're down. And I'm back with another story for y'all. But before I got, before I get started, like I was telling y'all, man, I've been working on this, uh, this mixtape and I finally got it ready for y'all, man. It's, uh, 16 songs, man. So you can either get it on C CD or you can get it on USB flash drive. I know a lot of cats don't get at me like AOG. We don't fuck with them no more, but you know, that's what I'm working with right now. It's a mixtape, man. I'm trying to get it out the best way I can. Fuck with your boy, man. So, you know, if you're interested, I'm going to leave my cash apps in the description and just, um, uh, Shoot your boy 14 bucks, man, and I'm going to blast it to you. Be sure to leave a full mailing address so I can get it to you. I was charging 13 but after I mailed out a couple of them, they cost like $4 and some change to get them out. But anyway, man, fuck with your boy. Now, with that being said, let's hop into this story. All right, now this story go back to uh, 1994, man, July, either late July or early August. Okay, so like I told y'all, man, I got arrested on three attempted murders. I was facing some serious time. So they housed me. You know, they throw me in a uh, the little crib tank. So I go up in there. I'm in there like a day or two. I get into a squabble. While I'm squabbing with a dude, uh, I got him I got him on the ground. And uh, I, I'm slapping him and shit. You know, but I found out later, either his cousin or his uncle, whoever the cat was, he thought I was stomping him. And he ran in there. He had a... um. He had some, uh, a razor hooked up some type of way, cut me all up on my back. So I guess he was tripping on saying, like, Crips don't stomp Crips or whatever, whatever. But, you know, when I first came up in there, didn't nobody tell me the rules to nothing. I'm fresh up off the street. I'm like, this is the fight. I'm thinking like, shit, Crips kill Crips on the street. You know what I'm saying? So I guess that's what he was upset about, which I end up finding out like five, six months later. So anyway, you know, I go out. They take me out. I go to the hospital and shit. I, my back is all cut up and shit. I got some big ass cuts on the shit. So when I... They asked me, of course, you know what happened. I'm like, hey, man, I don't know nothing. So, you know, when I when I come back from the hospital, which was only that day, they end up taking me to another part. Matter of fact, they put me in the old county jail. Now, the old county jail is like um, it's like a big old giant dorm, but it's like jail bars. It's like something that you might see in an old Western movie. You know, actually, I believe if I'm not mistaken, I believe they put me in what's called 14C1. Now, 14C1, it's like I say, it got bars and then like about 20 maybe i don't know 20 25 uh bunk beds up in there and then right next to it is 14 c2 and 14 c3 so you can look down and see 14 c2 so anyway at this point in time i'd only been up in there like i say about locked up in the uh in the jail county jail like four or five days i hadn't even got a visit and shit yet you know so you know I'm, of course i'm eager to get a visit for my girl so okay now the way to um the way the, uh, the visits work in Riverside County at that particular time was if you was going to go on a visit on, like, say, for instance, Wednesday, you had to have your people call Tuesday and schedule a visit for the following day. So finally, you know, my girl, she called. She find an available slot. She scheduled a visit. All right. So now I'm waiting for, for to go on my visit. So they come. They call me. Now, so now when I step out, it's like me. It's a white dude and like three or other or three or four other Hispanic Southsiders, you know. So then we go down to C2 and we pick up some people from there. And then we go down to C3 and we pick up some people from there. And then, you know, we then from that point, then the guard, he take us to our visit. So when we go upstairs, we head into the to the visiting room or whatever. Now, so he let us in the visiting room. Now, when he let us in the visiting room, just for instance, let's say if my visit was at three o'clock, he let us in there like maybe about 255. So. The people who were visiting before me, they still had like a few minutes left to wrap up their visit. Now, the visiting room is like, it's just, it's, stand, it's, it's standing. It ain't no place to sit. So I think it's something, it was something like three or four rows of, of glass partitions. You know, now each row, it might have been four, it might have been three or four different glass partitions on each particular row. And then, you know, the person is standing up, you know, you on the phone, you, you talking through the glass through your people and they outside in another room and it's like three or four different rows i think if i can remember how it was so like i said it's no place to sit down up in there so what i do is i go post up on the wall i put my back on the wall and i post up now right right like in front of me it's a uh it's a um a southerner he's having a visit but now he's not like right in front of me i'm with my back on the wall like i said and his left arm i mean he, you know his left side is facing towards me so I'm not directly in front of him, but his side is to me. And he's he's on the phone. He's having a visit. Now, I'm assuming he's visiting his girlfriend or whatever, you know. So I'm just posted up on the phone. 
So I forget how it worked, but maybe they come on the phone and they say, you know, one minute left, two minutes left, wrap up your visit or whatever it was. So, you know, like I say, this is my first visit, my first time. I'm just chilling. I'm up against the wall. Now, all of a sudden, he turned to me and he said, hey, yes, say. And I said, hey, what's up? He said, move, S.A. I said, man, who are you talking to? He said, I'm talking to you, S.A. Now, see, the way he got it. So when he say that, I say, man, I ain't going nowhere. Now, because I didn't like the way he got at me. You know, I felt it was kind of disrespectful. Now, had he got at me on some cool shit, like, had he said some, some shit, sort of something like, you know, uh, maybe like, hey, uh, Spencer Holmes, you know, do you mind, like, moving a little to the side? My fucking highness going to show me something right now. And, you know, if he had a got at me something cool like that, I would have slid, y'all would have slid on over. But like I say, the way he get at me, I'm talking to you, S.A. Like he on some like straight gangster shit, like get your punk ass out the way type shit. So I say, like I say, I tell him, I say, man, I ain't going nowhere. Now, look, <laughs> after that right there, I'll tell <laughs> I bullshit you not, right? After that right there, that's the last motherfucking thing I remember. That's the last thing I remember. Now, later on, once I got back, to the, to the uh, dorm that I was in, this white dude told me, the white dude that came up with us, he told me, you know, you were standing right there, man, and they jumped you. He said, somebody just came and hit you. You was trying to fight back, but it was way too many of them. They got you on the ground and started kicking you and shit or whatever. So, so like I say, you know, at that point in time, I don't remember none of that. The next thing I remember after I, and even to this day, I still don't remember shit. <laughs> so the last thing I remember, like I say, I tell you, man, I, I, ain't, I ain't going nowhere. Next thing I remember, is I'm in a fog and I'm kind of like walking around. Now I'm walking around to each row. I'm looking for my visitor to see if I see my girlfriend. So I'm going up and down these little, you know, these little rows and shit looking for my girlfriend. So I finally see her. So I go over there. Now she frantic. She say, are you okay? Are you okay? So I still don't know what she tripping on. Cause like I say, my mind is hazy, but I don't, I don't have no, it's nothing physically is hurting me and shit. Right. But I'm, I'm tripping like, God damn. Like uh, it's just, you know, it's in a, a weird feeling. I really can't tell like what, what the fuck is going on. So, when I get there, she's in a panic. She said, oh, some lady came out here who, who was on a previous visit. She said, oh, some lady came out here yelling to the guards. It was it was some Mexicans in there jumping a black guy with glasses. And I say, oh, who was it? And she said, oh, oh, my God, it was you. It was you. And uh, so I'm, I'm still tripping. She said, she said, oh, you hurt. You need to just you need to go to the uh, hospital. And I said, no, I, I said, oh, I'm OK. I said, OK. I said, where am I at? And she said, oh, my God, you're in jail. And I said, jail? I bullshit you not. I said, jail? How'd I get in jail? She said, oh, no, hang up the phone. Go, go. She said, you don't remember? The police came to our house. They pulled guns on you. They made you lay down. They made you get out the car and lay on the ground. I said, no, I don't remember nothing. She said, oh, no, go, go. I said, no, you know, because this was my first visit. I hadn't had a visit yet. So I said, no, I'm, I'm okay. So she panicking. She crying and hollering and shit. I said, no, calm down. I'm cool. I'm cool. But really, I'm like I say, my, I'm, I'm dizzy as fuck or whatever. So... I think the visit was like 45 minutes or an hour, you know, so we, we have our little visit and shit. She's the whole time telling me she think I need to go to the hospital and this and that. I'm telling her, no, don't trip. I'm cool and shit. So, you know, so we sit there, we have our visit. And after the visit, of course, the guard, they come get us to take us back down to, uh, to the, uh, to the dorm that I'm in or whatever, the little, you know, the, the jail and shit, 14C1. I believe that's what it was. But anyway, so now as he, he rounded everybody up and shit, I just so happened, you know, we in our jumpsuits we, they give us jumpsuits and they give us these i guess they call them like nowadays everybody is calling them slides so i guess that's the best way to describe them they seem like slides but they like they like a brown they almost like a the color of a, a, a football but they're a little lighter than that like a tannish brown and they're thin so a lot of people would take their razor they would take the little razor out of the razor the little part and they would carve their hood and shit into it you know they carve their hood or their initials so they could identify their shoes or whatever so you know so I happen to look down at, I'm just, you know, I'm I'm up against the wall. And I'm just chilling. I look down. My sh One of my shoes got S-U-R on it, which is an abbreviation for Serenios. For those who don't know, the South Side is, you know, that's, that's what they call Serenios. So I look down at my shoe. I see S-U-R on it. I'm like, God damn. I'm thinking like these motherfuckers didn't whoop me out my shoes and shit. You know, because I don't remember, I don't remember none of this and shit. I'm like, God damn, how the fuck I get this motherfucker on? So now I, I, I reach down, I, I grab it, I look at it. I'm like, damn, you know, the daddies, what the fuck? So I put the motherfucker back on. I walk down and shit. And we walk down. They put us, put me back in the dorm or whatever. So now the white dude that 
who had went on the visit with me, he so he told me, he said, yeah, man, you was chilling right there on the wall. He said, a motherfucker just came over there and fired on you. They started jumping you. He said, you was trying to fight back, but it was way too many of them. You, they, you fell on the ground. They started kicking you and shit. Now, as, he's, as he was telling me then, I kind of remember now he was like slowly starting to kind of, I, I remember bits and pieces of it. But today, I don't remember shit about that. You know what I'm saying? So... And he was telling me how, you know, they had you on the ground. They was kicking you and shit. He said, but there was so many, so many of them, they really couldn't get to you really good. You know, because the space out, the, the, the visiting room, it's not a whole lot of room. Then at some point in time, he said it was a dude, a black dude by the name of Coop. Coop was from Westside. Rubido, he was from PJ's, I believe, if, if I'm not mistaken. He came over there and jumped in it and helped get them up off you. And then the guards came up in there. So he finished telling me the story. I was like, damn, I don't remember none of that shit. So then I went to the bars. I yelled down to Coop. Coop, I think, was either in 14C2 or he was in 14C3. Uh, uh, so I went down to the bars. I yelled down to, who? Down to Coop. I'm like, hey, Coop. He come to the bar. He's like, yeah. I'm like, hey, what's up, my nigga? Hey, I'm chill, homie. I'm from whoop de woo 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 I said, hey, man, good looking out, you know? He said, oh, man, don't trip or something like that. You know, don't even trip. It's nothing or whatever. I said, okay, man, good good looking out, homie. And so if anybody know Coop out there uh, from PJs or whatever, like I said, I think that was him telling him I said, good looking, man. You know what I'm saying? He done some real shit. But I come to find out later on that there was a there was a big beef at this particular time in Riverside. See, I'm from Riverside County. I'm not from Riverside City. So, then, you know, there was a beef between the Mexican gang and, and the black gang. Now, I'm not just to, I'm not just to say the names. I don't want to add fuel to the fire or whatever. I'm just relaying a story. You know, you have a lot of people that have come on here and say, oh, man, this dude is glorifying gangs. He's glorifying being in prison and all that old bullshit. Man, I'm not doing none of that. All I'm doing, like I say, man, I'm just relaying my experiences and something that happened to me or whatever. So, but what I found out later on is what a lot of these dudes would do is when they was going on a visit, they might have a girl call and, and call out and, and make a visit for three or four of their homies even though whether regardless of whether they was going on a visit or not so that way when they would go on a visit they would be deep up there and and this what they would do they would you know they they would be jumping on blacks up in there and shit so you know they they got a couple of my other partners too or whatever but you know like i say sometimes it's like that man that's the shit we sign up for you know what i'm saying so regardless of me not having anything to do with the beef them motherfuckers caught me slipping up there. They put work in on me, you know what I'm saying? Whoop me about my shoes and all that shit, like I say. So now I realize today that what happened is I probably had a concussion, you know what I'm saying? And just didn't remember shit. Because like I say, physically I wasn't hurt. I wasn't hurt. I just couldn't remember shit, you know? So I was in a, I was in a fall or whatever. So anyway, you know what I'm saying? It happened like that, man, you know? bumps and bruises sometimes you win sometimes you lose man that, that particular day right there you know i took a loss and shit so you know but uh it happens so y'all stay safe out there oh yeah and resume normal program